religious faith and you're agnostic, it begins with you and the voice of the dead. You can read Du Bois. You can read or listen to Fannie Lou Hamer. The voices of the dead become part of our sources of empowerment that sustain our memory, which must be subversive given the lies that are often told, our commitment to integrity in the face of unbelievable mendacity and venality. We live in the age of the sell out. Everybody's for sale. Everything is for sale. The question is, how do you cope with it? How do you negotiate yourself in the face of such market-driven reality? And, 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 and try to sustain you know, the wonderful phrase of James Baldwin. Remember the very end of that letter to his nephew? He says, uh, it's unassailable and monumental dignity because he says, James, the son of Wilmer, we come from a people of great poets. And by poets, he's not talking about versifiers who write on the page. Hmm. He's talking about what Shelley means in the last line of his great pamphlet, The Defense of Poetry. Poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world because they're all those human beings who have the courage to imagine and through empathy fight for a different world than the world they find themselves in. White supremacy, male supremacists, capitalists, imperialists, homophobic, they have to have some imagination and empathy to conceive of a different world. And that's, I think, in part what the great Baldwin had in mind when he wrote uh, those last lines to the little precious 15-year-old uh, James, his nephew. and. Uh, um, be able to see it generation to generation because I'm old enough to have uh, been blessed to meet so many of the giants of that, of that generation. <coughs> Curtis Mayfield, Drew Scott Hammonds, to the uh, and of course, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, and how they would keep that tradition alive in the present. Me and young brother, Brother Robertson. Oh, I want to do all I can to learn from him and listen, but also to let him know that there's a wind at his back. I could be up against a lot in that sense. It's, it's, it's a blessing to try to be a blessing. But let me uh, just start off with just, just ask a few questions. Yeah, sure. So um, there's so much that we can 